But anyway, it's kind of Pierce Suits, not he's looking at, at something else. Oh, behind you, oh. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Where's that pendulum? I need to know how we can decide if I'm a boy or a girl. So um, you guys have all seen me here at the Toolbox. Uh, this is more my fourth or fifth try. My name is Susan Gerbic. Try fourth or fifth time here. My name is Susan Gerbic, and I want to know how many people here love the Toolbox and think that we need to grow this group. So I'm here to, yeah, everybody's raising their hand for, okay, so what I'm here for is to, I'm trying to improve the, um, the attendance of the toolbox. I'm trying to bring more attention to the toolbox. I know we like to keep the group small, but we want to grow bigger than this. We want to um, bring this out to other people to be able to do more hands-on things. Because a lot of the other conferences are more kind of sit down, do nothing, but just sit and hang out kind of stuff. This is more of a hands-on thing, and I appreciate it. Um, I know for a fact that Lindsay Byerstein and, and Harriet Hall and myself all came from this toolbox. We were encouraged to move on and do more things for the community. So I'm trying to preserve the history of the toolbox and encourage it. So I'm hoping that everybody this next year is going to really do their best to bring other people with them. Maybe if you can't, um, help with scholarships for other people to come to the toolbox and use your social network and your social media to try to um, encourage more people how exciting and how much fun you had here. That's why I'm taking a lot of photos. So, well, besides the fact that I take a lot of photos. But one of the things I just want to put up here is I have this site. It's, it's not my site. This is a conference website. It's called Lanyard, L-A-N-Y-R-D. And I don't need to give you the URL or anything like that. You guys will figure it out. But if you find any content, L-A-N-Y-R-D, that's what it's called. Oh, no A. No A. L-A-N-Y-R-D, I'm just going to double check to make sure I spell it right. L-A-N-Y-R-D, it's a, it's a program, yeah. Yeah, dot com. It's a dot com. But you just put Lanyard into the, any kind of search engine, you're going to find it. But all the information that I have created here, videos, uh, photos, and the tweets that I've done, and if anybody else has done any tweets, they will be on Lanyard for you to be able to look at later. So you can find your own photos that were taken here, and you can pull them up off of Lanyard. And if you find any content from uh, a blog somebody writes about this, I'll be writing something for Skeptical Inquirer magazine. Anything that you find, you don't have to own the content, you can add it to Lanyard. It's a site that you just add stuff to, so it's like all of us don't have to be friends with each other on social media. You don't even have to be on social media. You can go to like a one-stop shop for any conferences. And you'll see this is true for all the conferences. We've got all the skeptic conferences, all the um, um, skeptic camps, everything. They all have their own category on Lanyard. So if you find any content anywhere, just pull it in and just add it to Lanyard. And um, we would appreciate it. And also you will be able to find all the information there. And we're looking for information from past toolboxes. I have written the Wikipedia page for the Skeptic Toolbox two years ago, and it was a nightmare trying to find information. Now that we have Lanyard, it would be so much easier for me to do. And so we're trying to can preserve our history, scientific skepticism's history, and we're trying to grow the group. So we really do need each one of you to maybe take the photos that I've taken or the videos and share them in your, in your world and, say, and tell people how much fun you had. This is a very inviting work uh, place to be, and um, you can spend quality time with people, and hopefully that they'll be encouraged to come again next year, or like I said, hopefully sponsor somebody next year. Jerry? Um, I forgot to mention in my talk that I actually have a technical paper on this subject, and I'll, I'll put it up there. A technical paper on the toolbox? No, on the subject that I was talking about. Okay, so Jerry has a technical paper that he'd like to share, and he'll put it up on Lanyard. So that way everybody can find it in one stop, one place, you will find it all. So that's all I have to say. By the way, that is uh, Susan the Wonder Woman. <laughs> she, she, if you don't know this, she has found a way to be the most potent voice for skepticism in the world. She, she figured out how to edit uh, uh, Wikipedia pages, go in and, and and fix up pages like Brian and Sylvia Brown to make, instead of saying 
She's a psychic, says she's an alleged psychic, and she's make, make, making a lot of pages for skeptical people and so on. And um, so she's doing a, I think she has more reach than, and she also has people in various countries, 40 more different languages, I'm not sure how many, translating stuff into other languages in Wikipedia too. So she's, she's done an unbelievable job and she probably has the biggest reach now and the biggest voice all over the world, uh, anywhere. So, again, thank you. Now, Lauren has found something, finally, <laughs> that he, 